Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a song called Hymn of Heaven by Phil Wickham. And just like normal, I'll show you how to play it on acoustic guitar, how to lead it, things you can share with your worship team and your church, and then scripture to go alongside it. So let's dive into the video. This song is in the key of E. And so just like normal, you'll see up here, I've got the Nashville number system on top with the corresponding chord underneath that. Anything you see in parentheses, it's going to be a split bar. I say this in every video that I've got split bars or chords that are split in their measure. And just like normal, if I just assume that it's split evenly, it's in the, we're in four, four. So that would mean two beats a piece. There are several spots in this song where some of the chords get more than two beats. So they get three and one chord gets one. Uh, there's even one section where there's four chords in one bar. So one, two, three, four. We'll get to that, but just so that we're on the same page with that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and dive in. There is no intro this, to this song. He just goes straight into the first verse. And so I'm just going to go ahead and throw up the first verse right here, at least the first line. And so, yeah, let me just, I'm going to go ahead and play through it here. So it's going to be, it's one, four, one, six minor, four, and five. You'll see that up here. This is how it's played through, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that line is really easy. There's two uh, separate spots where two chords are in parentheses. They split the bar evenly, so they get two beats a piece. And then you've got your one and your five chord in the middle and on the end. And those have, those are, that's a full bar right there. So you just count to four, one, two, three, four, and then you switch chords. The next line is going to be one over three, four, one, five over seven, six minor, four, and then five. That's, that's the chord uh, progression right there. And so this is how that is played. Let me say this, playing a one over three in the key of E can be uh, tricky sometimes. And so I have my way as to how, I would play a one over three chord. And so basically I'm putting my ring finger fourth fret uh, E string, which is our A flat. And then my pointer finger is gonna go on the D string. Yeah, yeah. D string second fret pinky on the G string fourth fret. Pretty much everything else is muted with the exception of like maybe the B and E string. Right, that gives it a little bit more resonance. But just so that you can hear that, that A flat on top. Yep, so there's our one over three chord right there. If you feel like you can't play that or don't know how to play a one over three chord in the key of E, I would just say play the one. Uh, this is a predominantly keys heavy song, especially up top. The acoustic guitar doesn't really even come in, come in until the second verse, so let them play those those bottom notes, right? I always try to defer to that if there's a um, a slash chord or a split chord that's too difficult to play, depending on what key it's in. If we're in the key of C, a one over three chord is super easy. Like, you just let your uh, top E string uh, free. It's not muted, it's, it's open. And there's our one over three chord. But other keys, it's a little bit more difficult. So, don't feel pressured as to like, you have to play that. You can just play the one chord, which is E, and you'll be good to go. So this line, one over three, four, one, five over seven, six minor, four to five. This is gonna be how that's played. So let me play through it here. So it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, and that feels incomplete, doesn't it? You're like, shouldn't you go back somewhere else? We'll get to that just in one second. It's gonna go to the turnaround. But um, that first section there, the one over three to four, split bar, it's split evenly, two beats a piece. And then we've got our one, five over seven to six minor. The one and the five over seven, one beat a piece. If you didn't hear that, one, two, three, four. Six minor gets two beats, okay, again. One, two, three, four, right? And then of course, the other parentheses, four to the five, it's even. After that verse is going to be turn number one or turnaround number one. 
however you want to label that. This is gonna be the progression for that, the chords for that. That's gonna take us into the chorus, and that's where it's it's gonna feel a bit more complete because we stopped at that five, and you're like, man, you can't stop there. You gotta go back to the one. That's home base. We are gonna do that. So or that, that's what Phil does in, in the song. So um, the chords for the turnaround, that first turnaround is going to be one, one sus, back to the one. Uh, you'll see parentheses with the one and one sus. The uh, the first one is gonna get three beats. That sus chord is gonna get one. So it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that last one gets a full bar. But basically just for the, the sus chord, my pinky is just going down on the G string, second fret, just like that. So let me just go ahead and play through the first verse all together into that first turnaround. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, six minor, one, two, three, four, to the five. Here's our one over three, or one. One, five over seven, six minor, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, into the chorus. Okay, so there you have it. That is verse number one, and into our first turnaround, turnaround number one. I'm going to label it that because there is another turnaround in this song. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that's verse number one. Then we're going to move into chorus number one. There's a total of seven bars in this chorus, which is pretty common for a song like this. Um, so it's going to be uh, one bar of four to the five. That's split evenly. From there, we're going to go to one to a one over three. That one over three only gets one beat. Then after that, it's going to be four to six minor split evenly. Five to one over three. Again, the one over three gets one beat, and then four to five, another split evenly bar, and then one, one over three, and four. The four gets two beats, uh, so that means the other two chords get one beat apiece. And it's pretty similar to that in, in that first verse when we had that one, five over seven to six minor. Um, and then after that, a, a bar of four to the five. So, so let me break that down again. Four. Five, one, two. Six minor, five, two, three, one over three. One, <laughs> four, five. And then from there, that's gonna be the, uh, the end of that chorus and they'll go into the, uh, the next turnaround, turnaround number two. So again, let me just play through the entirety of this chorus just so you can uh, follow along. Uh, again, that one to one over three and four, that four is gonna get two beats instead of just one. So again, this is the chorus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the chorus. Back to the, uh, well, actually not back to anything, to the next turnaround. So let me just, let's talk about this for a second. There is this turnaround that as the, after the first chorus, um, it's, it's different than what you might expect it to be. It's not the same as turnaround number one. It's turnaround number two. It's primarily just the keys that are playing this. You don't have to play this. I would recommend if you're playing this by yourself, just do the one. One sus, back to the one. It's going to be a little bit more simple. But just for the sake of knowing what the chords are, this is turnaround number two. It's going to be one, one over three to the four. Those are all in the same parentheses. The one's gonna get one beat. One over three is gonna get one beat. The four is gonna get two beats, okay? That next bar is six minor to our five, and that's split evenly. So all together, this is, this is that second turnaround. Uh, 
I feel like it sounds a bit odd playing it just as an acoustic guitar player, so that's why I feel like I wouldn't play it live, or at least I wouldn't play. I'd let the keys do that, you know, as as you're kind of crescendoing up to the end of that that chorus. <laughs> Everything kind of drops out there when you go to the downbeat of that one. And so if like your cymbals are coming in, you know, you're playing that holy is the Lord. The keys have got that. Six minor, five. And then they're back into the verse. This is what I don't like about it is that turnaround never happens again. It happens once and then it never happens again. And so um, I could leave it or take it. Do what you want to do. Uh, after that, I'll also let me know in the comments below if you have any questions thus far. If any of that's confusing, please let me know. After that, they're going to go back into the same verse, same progression. Nothing changes there. They're going to go back into turnaround number one, which is the one, one sus, back to the one. Okay. Um, and then chorus one is the same. They do that again. And then guess what? They've got another turnaround, which is the same as turnaround number one, one, one sus, back to the one. Okay. After that, this is where things start to get tricky. They're going to go into verse three. Okay. Verse three is going to have the exact same chord progression as verse one. Okay. With the exception of, well, no, no exceptions. They're going to do the entirety of that, that verse one chord progression. And then they're going to repeat verse three, similar to living hope, how he, he'll re he repeats that third, that third verse. One is kind of a down verse and then he builds up. So after verse three, before the repeat, is an is a turnaround, but it's only one bar of the one. Okay, it's not. There's no one sus, nothing like that. It just kind of hangs out there on the one, right? And then he's able to jump back into verse number three. This is where things start to change up a little bit. So the verse three repeat. repeat that's what we're going to call it up here. It's the same as verse one as all the other verses, except for one bar. That bar where we went from the one, five over seven to the six minor, and you remember that six minor only had two beats? We're gonna give that last beat to a different chord, and they're gonna go to the five chord. If I can, five, five chord. Okay, and so that's the one section where there's four chords in one bar. So what that sounds like is. going to go to that four chord so one two three four one two three four that probably makes more sense instead of me actually singing it <laughs> let me count it not sing it um that's it that's the only difference there for that verse uh actually that's not true um after the four and that five you know um they don't go to the one Naturally, you go to the one after that. Um, they don't do that. He goes to the six minor because they're going to tag the um, uh, that last line, that part that goes, uh, Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Whatever the melody is, he goes to six minor there. And then there is a, uh, the next section here. Is a, It's a no chord section. There's no chords. And that's when he, they, they jump up and it's like a choir. It's like forever. What does he say? Forever he shall reign. Um, there's just that section there. It's one bar, I believe. And then after that, they're going to go back into the first turnaround. So one, one sus, back to the one. There is a one over three chord that lifts them into the chorus. It's a little bit different than, you know, the first couple of turnarounds. You know, it's... And I'm pretty sure that that one over three chord is split, has two beats. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two. There will be a day. Or today is the day. So let it be today. That's the first line of that last chorus. So um, again, verse three, it repeats. The only change is that full bar where there's actually four chords. And then at the end, they go to the six minor instead of the one. Uh, because they're going to tag that last bar, that last line. It's a lyric change. There's no chords there. Um, the chords would be a four to a five, but there's no chords. And then they're going to go to the first turnaround with the exception of uh, at the end of that, they do two beats of the one over three. 
to lift and lift them into the final chorus. You can play that, you can not play that. It's totally up to you. Our final chorus is going to be the exact same thing as uh, chorus number one. Uh, so what I've got written out here, it repeats. The final chorus repeats. What I have written out here is um, I've got my chorus and then I've got the last line in parentheses and I just have first time through. First time through is going to be four, five, one, one over three, back into the chorus, right? So it would sound like this. Holy, holy is the Lord, will be a day. Right, so that one, it does go back to the one, but the one over three is the lift back into the chorus. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, um, that bar again is split evenly. So it would be one, two, right? So after that, they repeat the chorus again. And then the second time through at the end, it goes four, five, and instead of the one, he goes to the six minor and then one over three, four, five, six minor again yeah after the six minor one over three that's right so the second time through that last line repeats twice and then we have our ending line which is going to be four five one okay so all together let me i'm just going to play it from the uh at the end of that third verse where there's that turnaround I'm just going to play through the entirety of the chorus. Okay, so this is what this sounds like. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to the top of the chorus. One, one over three, four, four, five, six minor this time. Same thing, just repeat that line. Six minor, one over three, five to the one. Okay, so that's essentially how that final chorus goes. It repeats twice, and then it just kind of it just tags that last line a few times. Um, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're able to take this and, and play it with the song and be able to play it to a T. But that's everything. That's how you play this song on acoustic guitar. My prayer is, my hope is that that was not confusing and it was clear and concise and helpful. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Please reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, I would love to be able to help you guys learn how to play this song and any in the future. So don't go anywhere just yet. Let's dive in to some more stuff on this song, how to lead it and some scripture. All right. So talking about this song, I love it. I think it's a great song, it's similar to Living Hope. Just a, It's just the story of the gospel. It's a story of, of longing and hope, and it's a, it's a song of praise. Um, I just think it's a really, really powerful song. Very little to do with, with me, and it's more about just like just glorifying the name of the Lord. And it's a, a picture of, of looking forward to a day to where, um, you know, essentially, you know, this sounds so cliche, but, you know, where our tears will be wiped away, you know, just that, just that type of song, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but that's, that's essentially the, uh, kind of the content, some of the themes in, in this song. And, um, yeah, I think this would, this would be a great song to do as a response song at the end of a message. Uh, the, the gospel has been presented and it's just a testimony, a song of testimony. It's someone that's, it's, as a worship leader, you're able to say, this is my story as well. 
And if you're not a believer, like this can be your story too. And I would encourage you to take this song and pray over it with your team and for, for your team to say like, let's pray for those that don't know the Lord and that are here this morning that don't know Jesus. How can this song minister to them in a way that will lead them or it'll, it'll work with the Holy Spirit in bringing them to um, accepting Jesus, if that makes sense. You know, maybe your prayer is like, is like, Lord, use us, use this song. Let this song be a testimony. Let it be a, a light to someone that doesn't know you this morning and use it to be able to um, glorify and honor your name. You know, a prayer like that, I think would be really sweet with your team and just, just, just the heart that is, is it's taking like, get your eyes and your mind and your, your thoughts off of what you're doing and your plan and get it focused on like why were you doing what you're doing? You're, you're up there to glorify and honor the Lord. And you're also up there for, you know, to, to be able to be a part of the work of, of the gospel in, in people's lives. One scripture that would go really well with this is John 14, six. It's just, it's the gospel. Uh, Jesus said to him, I'm the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me to be able to share that scripture and then sing that, that song would be a great testimony. So I hope that this video was encouraging and, and helpful and you are equipped and empowered to be able to go and lead this song whenever it is that you do it, whether now or a year in the future. Uh, my prayer and hope is that uh, the gospel will be presented through you and through this song and uh, to people that uh, don't know Jesus. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button as well if you haven't, if you wanna see more content like this. Uh, don't forget to do those things. And again, message me, hit me up, comment below. If you have any requests, any ideas, any, any thoughts, uh, any questions, all that stuff. I'm here, I'm available, and uh, I want to help you. So uh, thanks for watching again. We will see you guys in the next video.